And it's important to understand that there's always ways to surrender a newborn baby without facing any of these legal issues. The Safe Haven program has been around since 1999 to help make that a reality. And Tyler Dupnik is with us in studio tonight with more on just how it all works, Tyler, and what kind of information do you have for folks out there? Yeah, Alex, the Safe Haven program is really a great option for both the parent and the baby. Now, hospitals, fire and police stations and emergency medical services are all locations for those who, for one reason or another, decide to part ways with a newborn baby. It's perfectly legal, it's perfectly safe, and oh my goodness, it's just a way better option for everybody. Odessa Regional Medical Center is one of several locations that can welcome in surrendered newborn babies that are 60 days old or younger thanks to the Safe Haven program. We notify Child Protective Services and we admit them to our newborn nursery. Um, because they've been outside in the world, we do um, put them in isolation just to make sure they're healthy and not worry about other babies. But we, um, we put them in our newborn nursery, so they're very, very safe. Um, they're by, you know, behind a locked door. They're with nurses who specialize in infants. The Safe Haven program was created to stop people from dumping babies when they do not feel they can handle the responsibility. The whole point of this is to do what's best for that parent and that baby and make sure everybody's as safe as they can be. So a parent can say, I can't handle this. Parenthood is tough. And you know, sometimes people make bad decisions of, and babies end up dying. And it's the whole point is avoiding that. It's a safe haven for people to not make bad decisions. Kate says they come across safe haven situations once every couple of years at ORMC. She explained that even if a baby is older than 60 days, there are still other options out there. Come to the ER, come go to the police department, go to the fire station, go somewhere and ask what the options are. Because there are options. There's always options. Even when your kids are older, there's always options. You just got to reach out for help. Now, Case also mentioned to me in our conversation that it's mostly a simple process, although some information might be asked of the parent when it comes to family medical history for the future. The Safe Haven program means giving up the rights to the baby, and Child Protective Services typically steps in quickly to work on finding the baby a home, such as through adoption or foster care. Alex.